Welcome again at my paint shop. In one of my last videos I showed you how to replace such rivets and carbon frames and today I like to show you how to close holes in carbon frames and how to laminate carbon fiber. I have to close these two holes, the customer wants a flat surface so I have to laminate this area and I like to show you how to do that. What we need is carbon fiber and for minor repairs and for wraps on carbon frames and also to close such small holes I use a roll of woven carbon fiber, that's it. And such a roll is good for minor repairs and for small lamination you have to do on carbon fiber. What we also need is the resin and the harder to glue the carbon fiber together and I will use a polyester resin because I have to do only a minor repair. I have to close small holes. If you have to repair an accident or a big crack I recommend to use epoxy resin. What we also need is masking tape, some cotton buds, a pair of scissors, a knife and some self-made tools to work inside the carbon frame. So let's start to laminate these two holes. The first and most difficult part of the lamination process will be a patch. We have to patch these two holes from inside. So I have to do a patch and I have to glue it inside the frame. And that's what I like to show you now. So let's start to create such a patch. I have mixed the resin and I need a hundred parts of resin and two parts of the harder. And to create such a patch I use some masking tape. And I will cut a bit of this masking tape. And I have to cut also some of the carbon fiber. And now I will stick this piece of carbon fiber onto the masking tape. That will be my first layer. I use such a cotton bud and I apply some of the resin on the carbon fiber as a glue. And I will stick on a second layer of the carbon fiber onto the first one. And that will be my patch for the frame. I have to apply some more resin. Now I can stick this patch inside the carbon frame and when the resin has cured I can remove the masking tape and I have only the carbon patch inside the frame. And now comes the most difficult part of the complete process. We have some holes inside the bottom bracket, you can see it here hopefully inside and I can reach with my finger inside the carbon frame to reach this hole and I have to stick the patch inside this hole. And to help me doing this I will use my self-made tool to reach the inside of the carbon frame and to stick the patch on the hole. So let's try to patch it on. So 
So take a deep breath and then do your best to apply this patch. And that takes some practice. And now I can use this tool to glue the patch inside the frame. And the masking tape helps to stick it on until the resin cures. And that's it. Now I can apply some more resin to the holes and it will leak through the carbon fiber and it will glue the carbon fiber onto the frame. And that's the first step. I will put the frame in the oven at 50 degrees Celsius. We have Celsius in Germany, so 50 degrees Celsius, one and a half hour until the resin is cured. And then I like to show you the next step. I'm back from the oven and our carbon fiber patches are cured. And the next step will be to remove the color around the area where I have to laminate new carbon fiber. And please notice that's not a structural repair, so you can use also body filler to fill these holes. But I like to go a bit more professional and I like to fill these holes with, co with carbon fiber. And to do that, I have to increase the touching surface for the next layers of carbon fiber. Actually, we have only the diameter of the hole as a touching area or touching surface for the next layers of carbon fiber and to increase this surface I will send a kind of dish around this area so I can increase the surface where the new layers of carbon fiber will touch the carbon fiber of the frame and that's what I like to do now. Please protect yourself when working on carbon frames and when sanding carbon frames. So wear a mask, a respirator and I will use such a pneumatic grinder and if you don't have such a pneumatic grinder you can use also a piece of wood. That's a good shape for sanding and you can wrap around some wet sanding paper or any sandpaper you have and you can sand the frame with this piece of wood. But I like to use the pneumatic grinder. And that's how this area looks after the sanding. I have removed some color. You can see also the dish form. It looks like a chopped tree and that's the complete area where the new carbon layers will stick to the frame and it's much bigger than such a small hole. And now I have to mix some resin and then we can laminate the new carbon fibers onto the frame. I will use a scale to mix the resin and the mixing ratio is 100 parts of the resin and two parts of the harder.
And what I will do now is I will fill some resin into these holes. And I will use small parts of my carbon fiber to fill these holes. And at next, I will cut a bigger piece of this carbon fiber. And I will lay it over the first pieces of the carbon fiber in these holes. And I have to add some resin. And I will do the next layer of carbon fiber in a 45 degree angle. That's woven carbon fiber and all these carbon fibers are currently in a 90 degree angle on this frame and my next layer will be 45 degree. And the next layer over the 45 degree layer will be a 90 degree layer. And I have to add some resin in between every layer. And if it is too much resin, it will be squeezed out. And I will apply the masking tape over all these layers. And if you do that professional, you need your vacuum, but currently we have no vacuum. So I will use this masking tape and I will stick it from one side to the other to squeeze out all the air bubbles in between the carbon fiber.
And that's it. Now I can put the frame in the oven for another one and a half hour by 50 degrees Celsius. And that is what it looks like after I have removed the masking tape. I have some wrinkles from the masking tape, but that's not an issue because I have to sand this surface flat. And I will use a rotary. Do it by hand if you are not a professional, so you avoid sanding into the carbon fiber of the frame. And that's what I like to do now. And that is what it looks like after the sanding. And you can see that the touching area of the new carbon layers are much bigger than such a small hole. And that is what I like. And that's because of the dish sanding I did before. So my holes are closed. I have a smooth surface. And I'm not so picky about the area around this carbon fix because I will do a new paint job. But that's another story. And if you want to know about this story, check the painting video of this frame. And if you are the god of carbon lamination, let me know in the comments what you would do better. Or if you like this fix, let me also know in the comments. That's a simple fix everybody can do at home. And it's more professional than filling these holes with any body filler. I don't like the body filler on such carbon frames. I like real carbon work. That's more professional and also more durable if you do a high quality paint job on such a frame. And that's what I like for my clients and that's what I do. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching my video and see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.